Hello and welcome to Kim's Beauty Basics. I'm Kim and thank you so much for tuning in. So I purchased a couple things from Sephora today. Um, I wasn't shopping for the Sephora brand collection in particular, but it ended up catching my eye and I did buy a couple things. So I would love to show these products to you because I'm kind of excited about them. Spoiler alert, one of them is what I'm wearing uh, on my lips right now and I will show you some a swatch, talk about the product and show it all to you. And another one is a really exciting um, palette so stay tuned for that um, if you could I'd really appreciate it if you could like comment and subscribe down below and if you'd like to see uh, what I purchased from Sephora that I'm really excited about just keep on watching so I did go to Sephora today and this is what I purchased I love the packaging of Sephora, it's so it makes me excited. So first, because I've already spoiled the surprise, I will let you know what lip product I'm wearing on my lips today. So here's the product. So this lip product is um, by the Sephora brand. It's in the color Pretty Auburn or 26, if that helps you find it. Um, I'll just read uh, what they say on the website. So what they say is it's a, what is this called? The actual name is called Cream Stain Lip, Cream Lip Stain Liquid Lipstick. Um, it's a Sephora exclusive. Uh, what it is, so it's a silky long lasting lip stain that keeps lips covered with bold color from AM to PM, no need to reapply or touch up throughout the day. I can say it is not sticky. Uh, it's also not really transferring too much. I did apply quite a bit, so it's a little bit of transfer. I don't know if you can see that, but a little bit, not much. Um, and it doesn't feel too drying, so that's also a bonus. Uh, da -da -da -da. It says the stains come in matte and satin finishes um, and a wide range of richly pigmented colors. Um, the one that I'm wearing is obviously a matte. Um, I'll zoom in here. So my application isn't perfect. I kind of was excited to put this on as soon as I got home. So I put it on and was like, yes, the color payoff was great. So I just swatched that. So that's what it looks like, freshly applied. So it is a nice rich brown color. I think it's great for fall. And I also think it's great for a bunch of different skin tones. So that's the lip color. Um, I just applied that to my hand. I will let it dry for a couple minutes and show you what it looks like once it's dried down. Obviously, it will look like this on the lips, but I'll show you the swatch just in case you're interested. It is a darker color, but um, if you wanted to like brighten it up or um, wear it in the daytime, I would say just add a gloss over it or maybe like, yeah, I would say a gloss would be the best. Nice little like nude gloss to lighten it up and give it a little shine. And it is comfortable. I don't feel it's like too drying. Um, what's the most drying liquid matte that I've tried? Oh, I would say the NYX um, matte lip creams. Those are super drying. If, if you don't really like those and you think those are too drying, I would say this is a little bit better. Uh, so right now, lip stains, um, liquid lipsticks, are re retailing for $18 Canadian. And I will find out what that is US and put it down in the description box below if you're interested. Um, I'm sure it's, it's at all Sephora's across North America. I really like the shade and it's a good value. I mean, $19, I mean, it's a little bit more expensive than the drugstore, but I was at the drugstore today at Walmart and some of the liquid lips were like $15 drugstore. So it's really not that much different and I, I think it's a great product. Uh, it doesn't have much of a scent to it. Okay, maybe it does have a scent to it. But I don't know what it is. I mean, I mean, it's a little bit sweet, but uh, once it dries down, it doesn't have any uh, scent and I don't find it like annoying at all. And just to show you, the um, swatch on my hand has dried down and that's what it looks like. As you can see, it is matte and super pigmented. So the second product that I got, dun dun dun, is this. Look at the fun packaging. Is that not the best? So this is the Illuminate palette from Sephora. It is a luminizing palette as they call it. It says glow like a pro with this power palette of six luminizing shades. Shades include a mix of both warm and cool shades that work for all skin tones and that can be mixed to create a customizable glow. Um, so yeah, let's open up 
this Illuminate palette and test it out. I also looked on Sephora and this thing has, is it four out of five stars, I think? It's like four, almost four and a half stars and it has 365, 364 reviews, so that's not bad. And I swatched it in store and I was impressed. This is the palette. It's really cute. I think like honestly out of all of them, I'll show like a close up of the palette and everything, but I think out of all of them, only one shade that I probably wouldn't use. It's probably the bluish white one here. You can see that there. It's the palette. So packaging is nice. Um, it doesn't have a mirror on it, which is fine. I don't need a mirror on my highlighter palette. I'm kind of surprised they didn't put like the names of the um, highlighters on the back or on the front or anywhere on the packaging. They did put it on the box here. You didn't name your palette, Sephora. You didn't name the shades. Just didn't feel like it. They're named one to six, so I will just swatch one here. This is one. It's a pinky, white, shimmery highlight. So here's my R. So second color, color number two, is this one here. Um, it is a light gold shade. And here's my... We're getting on to number three, which is this one here, the blue, so here's my arm, that's the shade there. All right, so shade number four, I would say this one is a little bit lighter than the one up here. This one has a little bit more of a rose gold tone, which is number two. This is number four here, so I'm going to take this finger here, so we'll go right here. So number five kind of reminds me of Fenty Beauty's um, Trophy Wipe Highlighter. It's gold. So coming here, I'm gonna do it right here. And there's that number five gold shade there. All right, so number six, I'm gonna go in with my in middle finger. So this is the shade number six. It looks like it's a uh, rose shimmer. I'm just saying random stuff, but <laughs> there you go. So as you can see, those are the six shades there. You can see them. All right, so let's play with this palette. I'm going to do that shade, second shade there, which is like the rose gold, maybe. Grab a little of that with my brush. Can you see that? It's really pretty. I really like that it doesn't like um, make you look like you have like way more texture there. Love this. I'm gonna apply a little bit to above my eyebrows. Oh, I forgot to say, this Illuminate palette is $35 from Sephora. That's Canadian. Um, I will put the American prices down below in the description box. $35 is a little bit expensive, but it does have six shades and they're pretty big pan sizes. You get 3.48 grams or 0.123 ounces of the six products, which I don't think is bad. I mean, I've never hit a pan on a highlighter. I'm gonna use this shade here which is shade number four, according to their calculations. And I'm just gonna apply that to my brow bone. As a upper highlight here. Oh, I really like that. Do you see that? Do you see that? I'm glowing from space now. How cute is that? Especially with this matte lip, I really like the contrast of having like highlighted cheeks and this like matte lip. So I'm gonna apply the gold shade. I'm gonna apply this gold shade here. So that's the fifth shade or number five. And I'm just gonna apply that with my finger because I'm just gonna top my lids with that. Oh my, I can't wait to create a look with the um, the bluish tinge and like the, the purpley pink iridescent one at the end, number six. This gold shade especially would look so nice on a deeper skin tone. Oh my gosh, I'd, it would look like gold. You would look like gold. Um, and even like the lighter shades, like these would all work 
on different skin tones, like from light to dark. So yeah, if you wanna hear my final thoughts of my very small but very productive Sephora haul today, um, just keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching. I was so excited about showing you these products. I basically bought these and then came straight uh, home to put them on and film. I really love this brown liquid lipstick. It is so nice and it wears great. And I just think it's a really good liquid lipstick. $19, it's in the middle there, but I think it's a really good value. I really like this color. When you find like a good color and a good formula, you're just so happy. And this is exactly what I was looking for. I just wanted a nice brown shade for the fall. Um, I just think this would be so nice on like a night out or even like just going to the store and just wear it. mascara <laughs> just wear a mascara in this and head to the store you look so cute and also this highlighter palette oh my gosh i'm glowing from space here i love this and i find this one looks so like glow like it looks more natural glow with with from within I don't know, I love it, okay? I love it. I think this is a really good value. I would highly recommend this. I'm really happy with my two purchases from Sephora. Like, I feel like I accomplished something today. If you've tried any of these products, uh, let me know in the comments below and let me know if there's any other things that I need to check out from Sephora because I felt like today was the first day I've been there in forever and there was just a lot of new stuff to check out. Um, if you could, I'd really appreciate it if you could comment, subscribe, and like this video. Follow me on my social media handles. They are down, they will be down below as well. Um, yeah, check out my other videos and thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful day.